I just want to say a few words about blade safety. When you're opening these packets, just open along the line of the of the card. Don't try and slide slide it off because you can cut your fingers. Just peel the paper off and take the blade out. I'll just take this little piece off. Then you can use this same card to wrap the blade up again. Put it away safely. And please keep all blades out of the reach of children. Clearly they're not safe for children to use. I'll just explain again why this doesn't why it doesn't work to slide it off. I've cut myself doing this. If you pull it off, your your fingers can sometimes pinch onto the blade and cut yourself. Um, clean the edge of your blade if you're using an old blade. Take off any old clay. Right, the light one is for the centre, and the dark one is for the outside leaves of my lettuce. As you can see, the light, the very light bits are at the base and the darker leaves around the outside accentuate it a little bit. So I'll start with the light leaves. This is the method I have to recommend for cutting it, although it's not my favourite method, but it is, with practice, quite effective. If they're a little bit thick, you can thin out this edge just by squeezing it. Squeeze it all the way round. And that thins it out. I do have another method, which I will show you, but this is for your information only. I keep my hand... I'll just get that out of the way. I keep my hand very firmly on the board. This blade does not move at all. The thing that moves is the clay, and I roll that against the blade. Just taking a little bite, and taking it back if it doesn't bite properly, and rolling the clay slowly, take it back again, slowly against the blade until it cuts off. That makes a really thin lettuce leaf. If you compare the two, you'll see how much thinner the, the one cut by this method is. But obviously, if you decide to use this method, it's your own, it's on, on your own, on your own head be it, or on your own fingers. But do make sure that the blade doesn't move, only the, the cane. Rolling against the blade. Sometimes the cane can crack a bit if it's not absolutely fresh. This is why we recommend that if you're buying a used fresh cane, you use it as soon as it arrives. If it's not quite so fresh, give it a little bit of a, of a roll to soften it. If your cane's a little bit long, shorten it because it's easier, much easier to work with a shorter piece. Give it a little squeeze. Sometimes the pieces can crack apart or there can be a little bit of air in a cane. Just keep squeezing it until it's all Nicely squashed together and nice and soft. Smooth the surface. And then you can start to cut. Just as before, rolling the, the clay against the blade.
I do this all the time, so I'm quite practised at it, but it does take some practice. And as I've said, I'm not recommending this method for, well, for legal reasons, really. Um, I have to say that you should use the other method, which is obviously the safest method.
Okay, to put the texture on, I'm using my lettuce veiner. It has two sides. One has blobs on it and the other indentations. I put the leaf on the blob side and press the other side on top of it. Then I squeeze to release the leaf. It doesn't matter where you put the leaf in the veiner, although if you put it nearer the top, you get a more blobby shape. And if you put it near the bottom, you just get the edges crinkled. I'm putting it fairly near the middle. Sometimes it comes out on the other side of the veiner and you just have to squeeze it. Here's another method for picking up the leaves. Just press your finger against the leaf on the board and push. That lifts it up. By far quicker than lifting it up, constantly picking up a blade to, to lift it off the board. I've done this so often, I get quite quick at doing it. And I will cut and vein a whole floor tile full before I start assembling a, a lettuce. Squeeze inwards, not outwards like that. Squeezing the veiner inwards helps protect the veiner and uh, also it helps make the lettuce leaf more crinkly.